So welcome to another video. This video we're talking crossbody bags, which are the best, which are turned out not to be the best, which I have, which I would recommend, which ones I'm lusting after. So yeah, let's talk crossbodies. So let's talk Louis Vuitton. So I have two crossbody bags from Louis Vuitton, or what I would class as crossbody bags. And there are quite a few others that I'm really lusting after. So I'm going to talk about the two I have and then we'll talk about the ones I really, really want as well. So if you've seen my Louis Vuitton bag collection video, which I'll stick up here, you'll already have seen both of these, obviously. But this is the first one. This is the Pochette Matisse. I'm not going to go into in-depth review of any of these. I will do cutaways. But yeah, perfect crossbody bag, satchel style adjustable strap, a little bit of a top handle. It's literally the perfect, comfortable pocket at the back so you don't have to open everything up the whole time to get access to it. Yeah, it's a perfect, perfect crossbody bag. Very comfortable, very light, does the job. Love it, don't know why I don't use it more. So the next Louis Vuitton crossbody bag that I have is this one. Now, some people may or may not class this as a crossbody bag. This is, of course, the Petite Mal in the beautiful classic monogram with the black edging. And oh, I've talked about this one loads. I love this bag. This comes with a black crossbody strap. And yes, it does go crossbody and it's very comfortable crossbody. It's quite boxy, but it doesn't feel bulky in any way because it's a very small bag, isn't it? So. It's absolutely perfect as a crossbody. However, most people will just carry this as a clutch, as a little evening bag. I do wear crossbody. I like the look of it. I think it really, it's really edgy as a crossbody. So I am classing it as one, even though it's not maybe a crossbody, like a casual going out for the day crossbody bag, but it still does go crossbody. So that's number so two. So let's talk Chanel. I have three bags from Chanel that I class as crossbodies. This is the first one. So this is the beautiful wallet on chain. Mine is in the black caviar leather with the silver hardware. Beautiful burgundy interior. Yes, it's a wallet on chain. It doesn't carry much. You can't fit everything in it, but it is a beautiful crossbody bag. It's elegant. You can get rid of the strap and make it into a clutch, obviously. But as a crossbody, I find that this chain length is absolutely spot on for me. So I'm five foot four, quite curvy, I would say. And because of that, this sits absolutely perfectly for me. And I know for some people this is this is too long. But yeah, you can actually make the strap a little bit shorter by tucking the chains underneath and making it a little bit shorter like that. So I think it's really versatile. It's not adjustable other than doing that. And you can't take the chains off. But for me, the, the size of it, the chain length, it's absolutely spot on. I love how this Very looks. Cool. Very versatile. Love it. Want another one. In fact, want a couple more. So this is the reissue. So it's the mini and it's obviously the graffiti. And I bought this about three years ago, maybe four years ago, three or four years ago, something like that. Slightly different to the regular Chanel mini classic flaps. So this has got the, I think this is called the Mademoiselle lock. Anyway, it's got this lock. Obviously mine's in the mock croc as well. And you can see inside, I've got it stuffed at the moment but it is a really good size. But the difference between this and the other minis is this has got, you can see on the top, this has got four grommets, which means that you can wear it doubled up like this as a shoulder bag, or you can wear it as a long chain. And the regular Chanel mini flap just has two grommets, so you literally can only wear it as a shoulder or a crossbody. So this is a lot more versatile. But we're talking crossbodies today. I would say the strap length on this one is a beautiful chain as well. 
can see that's the reissue chain. This is extremely comfortable. It feels very light. It's a really good size bag. The chain length on this, if I'm honest, I would love it to be just a little bit longer. I feel it sits slightly high on me. But I think for most people, most people like their crossbody bags to hit sort of their waist or just lower. I like it a little bit lower than that, more on my hips. So it's not a problem. I do wear it crossbody. I just wish it was just a little, little bit longer. But yeah, it's a beautiful, carefree bag. It does have a pocket on the back, which I've never used. Don't want to push out the leather. It's a beautiful bag. So this is the Chanel 19 in the small size. And I went for the denim. And again, I've, I've told the story about this one. I got this one in Paris. So this is with this mainly silver, like I, I think it's like a ruthenium hardware but obviously like all the Chanel 19s you do have a mix of metals on the hardware so it goes to gold shiny silver aged gold so you do have all of those on there and the Chanel 19 for me is an amazing crossbody bag it's a wonderful size the chains are beautiful it has a really useful pocket with a popper on the back so it's really versatile. The size of it inside is wonderful. It's got a slip pocket um, and one compartment. And it's just, you can fit everything in it. Uh, I think the small size is perfect. I don't think you need anything bigger than this. I know they do a wallet on chain version of this, which would be very nice as well. But uh, I love this one. Again, the strap length of this, I wish was a little bit, is it the strap length? Again, I'll do cutaways. I wish the strap length of this was just a little bit longer. I think when I keep losing weight, hopefully it will get longer and longer. Um, but yeah, it's not too short that it really bothers me. I just, yeah, if I'm wearing something really bulky, I always just wish it was a little bit longer. So, but that's just me. For most people i think it's pretty spot on so this is an absolute winner love it okay let's talk dior now dior there are oh two or three really amazing crossbody bags that i really really want to get my hands on but the combination of things are just not quite i wish i could have one in a different fabric they're just not quite what i'm looking for oh so anyway so I don't have any what you would call traditional Dior crossbody bags, but I have two Lady Dior's which can go crossbody. So I am going to include them in the in this video. So the first one is this one, and this is the this is the absolutely stunningly beautiful. So this is the small size in the Lady Dior in the I think it's classed as cherry red, and it's got the beautiful champagne gold hardware. And this, this is one that comes with the flap. And I think it's called the My Lady Dior. It's the one that you can have, um, you pick three charms for the strap and the strap is a chunkier um, strap. I have talked about this bag before in the bags I would modify, these sort of annoying things about bags. Yeah, uh, the size of this bag is beautiful. You can fit loads in it. It's a really elegant size. The flap makes it easy in and out. I don't like the strap. I much prefer a thinner strap. I just do. Um, unless it's maybe like a canvas strap. So thick leather straps, I, they're just not, yeah, just not as appealing to me. So I undenied about which size of this to get, whether to go for the mini, because the mini comes with a beautiful chain strap. Oh, I didn't want a bigger bag than this. So I didn't want the medium, but... Yeah, I ended up going for this because I thought the bag itself was the, the right size for me. But I really don't like the strap. And it's such a shame you can't buy the chain straps separately. Not that you should have to. But yeah, it's always been a, a, a little bit of an annoyance for me. It's very comfortable and it looks nice. It's just not what I would choose. So yes, this does go crossbody. It's actually a very nice size for crossbody. The Lady Dior's are boxy and because they are quite, you know, they're not tiny bags, 
yeah they do feel slightly bulky slightly they're not heavy in any way they're very light but they feel quite bulky because they're quite boxy they don't mold to your body so because of that yeah i tend to not well do you know in all honesty i don't use this bag at all and because of that i have officially given this to my daughter and she loves it and she does wear it crossbody so there you go anyway that's that one and the other lady do that i have is this absolute beauty so this is the medium size lady dior in the beautiful i think this is clusters i think this is cloud blue it's coming across a lot shinier than it is it's not shiny it's very beautiful just it's got a beautiful sheen and again it's got the champagne gold hardware which i absolutely adore i love this color this is my sort of colour. <laughs> it's not really colour, it's very neutral, but yeah, leaning towards grey, but it's got a little bit of blue. <laughs> it's beautiful. Anyway, this is in the medium size and this I've had this quite a few years and this is the one that's got the zip um, opening, which makes it a pain to get in and out of. Um, you either scratch your skin getting in and out of it or you can't find your things or you have to play Tetris to try and get things in there. Yeah, it's not ideal. However, it's still beautiful. And this comes with a thinner leather strap, which I prefer to the red one. Now, again, this is a bigger bag, so I've never worn this crossbody. I, I have to be honest. I like to wear this. Um, I like the strap, actually. I like the strap hanging down if you want a slightly more casual look and just wear this on the crook of your arm. I think it's absolutely beautiful. But yeah, you can wear this crossbody. It's adjustable strap. It's very comfortable. Yeah, it actually is a perfect crossbody bag. It's just, again, the same as the red one, but even more so because this one's bigger. It's just bulky and boxy. It's very light, so it feels comfortable. It just feels a little bit like it bangs against your body rather than moulding to your body like some crossbodies. So, yeah, beautiful bag. Definitely can grow crossbody. I don't wear it that way. And now I'm going to show you the crossbody bag that is by far, by far, the, my most used bag, other than maybe the Neverfull. The Neverfull has to be my most used bag, it surely has to be. But this is a very, very close second. And I think you'd be quite surprised which one it is. It's the Gucci Soho Disco bag. And I don't even think they make these anymore. It's got the tassel, at this side the strap isn't detachable but it is adjustable the inside is just very dirty because i say it's been used so much the inside is like a canvas i won't show you that too closely because it's very dirty this bag has been unbelievably amazing it's not the most exciting bag. It's not It's not one of my favourite bags in any respect for the aesthetic of it. But it is one of my absolute favourite bags as in for the use it's, it's had and for the options it gives me. Ugh, this is, I mean, it's a beautiful bag in itself. It's Gucci, it's beautiful leather, it's squishy, it's comfortable it's light it's a decent size ah oh, what can i say about this bag it's unbelievably amazing i've taken this on so many holidays and trips because it's crossbody it's easy to style it goes with everything it's got the zip closure so it's very secure you're keeping it close to your body if you're caught in the rain it doesn't matter it's so carefree so yeah this is the bag i i take so that i've always got an option of oh i don't want to take that special bag because of certain reasons security or weather or just the you know just how casual you need to be at certain things so you don't always want to take a really nice bag with you i'm not saying this isn't a really nice bag it's a beautiful bag but you know what i mean yeah this is by far by a long, long way, the best crossbody bag I have and have ever had. And so cost per wear of this 
is crazy. Just wonderful. So yeah, I would not be without this bag. That's how good it is. So yeah, it's the only Gucci bag I have. It's the only Gucci bag that I have ever really liked. I'm not really a Gucci fan. I like some of the ready to wear, but the actual bags, not really. You can see I went for the, the most understated Gucci bag that they do. As I say, I don't think they do this bag anymore, which is a real shame because it's just unbelievable. So yeah, maybe if they did this in a pop of colour now, maybe that would be a very good bag. But I don't think, I say I don't think they do this one. The GGs are there, but they're understated. You can wear it this way if you really want to hide exactly what you're wearing. Okay, so one honourable mention, which I've just pinched from up there. So this is the, the Hermes Constance, and this is the Constance 24. Now, it's an honourable mention because it's not really a crossbody bag. The strap is slightly too short. However, it's really, for me, it's really a shoulder bag, either doubled up or single. But you can wear it crossbody. Some people do wear crossbody and I could, it'd be very <laughs> up here. And again, I'll do some cutaways, but there's no reason why you can't. And it's the only Hermes bag that I have that is even likely to be crossbody because the Kelly 28, the strap is definitely too, too short on that one. And with the top handle as well, that sticks up here, there's no way that I would ever wear that crossbody. So this is the only Hermes bag that I can sort of class as a crossbody. But of course there's other crossbody bags available I really like. So we'll go on to those later. So now let's go on to the crossbody bags that I don't own, but would love to own or would definitely recommend. Let's talk speedies. This is the Speedy 20, the Nano, and the 25. This is a Speedy 30. I think this is too big as a crossbody, but I wanted to try the Damier Azur just for, yeah, just to have a look at it. Compare it to the Empreinte Leather in the, in the 25. And you can see the difference in slouch versus structure. And it really put me off the 25 because although it's a better size, it's very bulky, whereas the canvas ones, you can actually smush down a little bit. So I think I'd like the Azure in 25. Some other LV bags, these are the Felici. They're sort of wallet on chains, but they're slightly bigger than that. This is the Empreinte Leather in black. Beautiful, I really like this. Tried it on in the Demiose, again, absolutely beautiful. Now, not a bad price, actually. I feel very light and comfortable. And they actually come with um, like a card case, like a detachable pouch inside, which is really lovely and different. If I didn't have the Chanel wallet on chain, I would definitely get this one in on front leather. Just felt absolutely beautiful. Now, this is the Cousin and the lady in store insisted that I try this on. This is exact opposite of anything I would choose, but it's very, very beautiful. This is the on the go, and I was really surprised how comfortable this is as a crossbody. It doesn't feel boxy at all, even though it is quite quite square. It's beautiful. Oh, I love this one. This is the over the moon bag. I've raved about this one. They do this in other colours. Oh, yeah, they never black to try on, but my goodness, yes, I'm after one of these. Oh, I think a pop of colour it needs to be for this type of bag, but you can detach it, have that short strap as an evening bag. Oh, and also I love this one. This is the multi pochette and this is the non prompt leather. And again, you can detach it all and oh, various versatile ways to wear this. And also they do this in the monogram, but I really like the on prompt leather. So let's talk Bottega Veneta. I just drawn to this beautiful green, I think it's called Parakeet. And this is the mini pouch and it does go across body. It's, oh, I just love the colour. And again, I'm mostly drawn to this colour and the purple. I think it's called Wisteria. Yeah, the cassette bag, 
the little top handle bag, the padded cassette, the loop bag. Oh, I just love it. Love this nano bag in the orange, but absolutely tiny. Okay, Hermes. So the Evelyn, I did manage to try on an Evelyn 29 finally. And no, it's not too big. I was worried it would be. It isn't. I didn't get a photo of it, unfortunately. But I also like these ones. These are the little TPM ones. So yeah, either or please. There's also these Getter bags, which are beautiful, but so expensive. The Weve. Oh, the puzzle bag. I just keep gravitating back to it over and over again. Oh, definitely in this tan colour. I just love it. It's comfortable, it's light. These are just fun, the little phone cases that go crossbody. I also tried the mini puzzle and actually it's a decent sized bag. I was actually quite surprised. So I'm not sure now whether the mini or the small is actually the one for me. I'll keep looking. I do love them. Maybe I actually need to look at a pop of colour though rather than the boring tan colour. Here I am again, I literally can't leave it alone, can I? <laughs> also, this is in the Angora colour, which is again very beautiful. But yeah, look at this green with an ombre, beautiful. Okay, Marc Jacobs. Well, the only ones I will consider are these tote bags, the smaller ones, the mini ones that will go cross body, the little fluffy ones. And you can see here the little mini pink and green ones. They also come in black and in grey. Yeah. I don't really like the camera bags, but I'm putting them here just so you can see them, but they're not for me. Here's a close-up of the black one. Oh, I just absolutely love them. I really do. I don't think they're a bad price either. Slightly bigger one. And then this little cute grey one. Just love it. Look at this teeny one. And then the pink. I just think they're a bit of fun, aren't they? Last but not least, Balenciaga, the hourglass bag. Now, I managed to try this on when I was in Harvey Nichols. And yeah, I love a top handle bag, but it actually is a really lovely crossbody bag. I absolutely loved it. It felt really comfortable, even with the top handle. It didn't feel too high or bulky. All different types of colours and styles. I really, really like these. So I'm just editing the video and I've just realised I never ended the video. So just to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on another one.